So I've drawn a scatter plot here, and you can see these individual data points here, and you can see the general trend is it's you know going up to the right. That means it has a positive correlation. But what we want to do here in this video is talk about you know how do we you know approximate the line of best fit. Well, when you draw your line, you don't want to draw your line so that it's you know so high that all the data points are below that line. And you don't want to draw it so low that all the data points are above that line. You want to draw it so it comes as close to uh, those points as possible. Now, you can get an exact answer. There's a linear regression feature on your calculator uh, that will give you the exact line of best fit, the line that comes you know, closest to the points as possible. Uh, but what we're doing here, this is just an Algebra 1 video, we're just talking about you know, how to approximate that line of best fit. So what you would do is, you know, you would get a ruler, okay, or a yardstick in this case for this large board, but uh, you would try to draw that line in such a way that it comes as close to those points as possible. Now I'm just going to eye it, and one thing I'm going to kind of notice is that it, it looks like it's going to go through, you know, maybe these two points right here. Okay, so if I was to draw that line, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. I try to draw a straight line. Okay, it's just a, you know, not a curve, but just a line. And this looks like it's coming close to, you know, the points as possible. There's a couple below. Uh, and there's a couple above, you know, again, like I said, you don't want them all above or all below. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at these two points that actually lie on that line of best fit. And let's write down their coordinates. So we have this point here, which is 1, negative 3. And we also have this point here, which looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it looks like 7, 5. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to find the slope. So we're going to use our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that's 5 minus negative 3 over x2 minus x1, that's 7 minus 1. So that gives us 6, and this gives us 8, which equals 4 thirds. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use our slope intercept form of the line, y equals mx plus b. We know that the slope is 4 thirds, that's what we just calculated, but we don't know what the y intercept is, the, the b value. It looks like it's crossing at negative 4. Well, let's try to get a little bit more exact um, value by using either this point that's on the line or this point. I'm just going to use the point 1, negative 3. So when y is negative 3, x is 1, and I'm solving for b. So this is 4 thirds plus b equals negative 3. And I'm going to subtract the 4 thirds from both sides. So minus 4 thirds, minus 4 thirds. And that gives us b. Now, some students get a little bit confused at this point, uh, or a little intimidated maybe I should say. We want to combine these two fractions. So a negative 3, which is like a negative 3 over 1, minus 4 thirds. Let's go ahead and do that on the side over here. Negative 3 over 1, minus 4 over 3. We want to get common denominators, so we're going to multiply by 3 over 3. So that's negative 9 uh, thirds minus 4 thirds, which equals negative 13 thirds. So that's our B value. All we're going to do now is we're just going to put that back into our equation right here. So it's going to be y equals 4 thirds x minus 13 thirds.